That's a good question, Alex. I'm not sure yet. Um, what my schedule is going to be like next week. I'm going to have to check and see how all of my uh, family plans go, and then I'll post. I, I should be able to stream, but it just might not be a regular, you know, it might be a, a limited kind of thing. All right. And let's see. Okay, we need beds. Do I have cabinets? Build. Um, furniture. What about a cabinet? And um, give everybody a cabinet. There's one. Build furniture <laughs> cabinet. Oh, keep building. Yes, thank you. Here. Build another one here. There we go. Build another one over here. There it is. Build one here. Thank you. One here. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah, it might be something like that, Alex. Absolutely. Man, I gotta tell you, I'm really in love with this mini-map in the corner. This is just something that, you know, you can probably get rid of this, but look, I love that I can see my my fort layout. It, it's just so interesting, spatially, to see that happening. Usually, you would have to, like, zoom so far out to, to get a sense of that. Okay. Now, let's see, uh, I'm going to go down, and this needs to be a uh, finished good stockpile, so we're going to make a stockpile, and we're going to just make it all the way here, and then I'm going to um, accept it, and it's just going to be, um, I'm going to make it the uh, um, mugs, okay, so we're going to go custom, we're going to go finished goods, and we're going to go, um, mug, uh, is, it, oh, it's crafts, that's why, um, or, is it stone? Where do you go? Do, 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 I thought it was a finished good. Um, here. Stone. Mug? No, rock? No, uh... Hmm. Okay, here, go back to this then. Um, hmm, hmm. Where are you, Mug? Yeah, it just doesn't say Mug at all over here, so. Um, I don't know where it would be. I'm going to be making mugs. So where do I put them? Um, okay. Here, let me get out of this. And just select this. All finished goods, I guess. That's fine. Okay. And there you go. All right, so now what's happening? Let's see what everybody's doing. Um, now somebody's making a rug, a mug, and that is um, Tony. And we're making the coffers. We're storing. We're digging, making tables, digging. Um, the carpenter has no job. Well, that's just, he's just waiting. I have so many jobs queued up. Oh, you know what, though? We might not have enough trees. Yeah, we might need to cut down some more trees, and that's fine. So we're going to go then to... Uh, Chop the trees. All of them. All right. And let's go down. And let me look at my orders. Um, really, all I want to use wood for is uh, barrels and bins. But we do need to make some beds. Now, I can't remember if you can make stone beds, which is, you know, that would be kind of awesome. 
Uh, let's see about that. Oops. Nah. I didn't think so, but... Okay. Um... All right. So now what I want to do is I'm going to build um, some tables. So let's see how many I have. Uh, I want to go here, right in the middle, right? Oh, we got have a, we have a bunch. Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to just for now um, make a big dining hall here. This is the celebration room. All right, great. We'll get this built in. <laughs> Wouldn't they, Rob? But even dwarves must sleep. On s That is a bed. That is not what I meant to build here. B I meant to build a table. There you go. All right, and use that. Okay, let's um, escape out of this. Let me dig this out. Make this just one section bigger so we can start fitting chairs around here. I'm going to need to make some chairs as well. But we can make rock chairs, which is cool. All right, here come the tables. All right, I'm going to actually just try this out. Oops, that's the wrong thing. Here we go. I'm going to give a new task, This, which is to make beds. And um, I'm going to actually prioritize it for a moment. Ah, uh, you know what? I love order better, because order lets me just set the number. So I want to make 10 beds. Yes. And I'm going to look at where this is. And I'm just going to bump this um, to the top. All the way up. Beds, baby. Okay. Now, hopefully we're good. We're getting more wood now. Let's see what everybody's doing. All right. So now we've got plenty of labor assigned. We're, we're making buildings stockpile, chopping down a tree, tables, mugs, coffers, items, drinking, storing. Okay, good. Okay. Now, at some point, once I get a little bit more population, uh, we're going to get real fancy. Oh, there's an alert. What's this? Um, something has collapsed on the surface. Um, okay. Okay. Um, show me? Oh, what is this? Let me go down to this. Um, oh, the tree collapsed? Is that what happened? That's odd. Something has collapsed. Okay. Huh. Oh, we got all these things. Okay, um... Some migrants arrived. Let me get rid of that. Um, we, we can't plant because we don't have plump helmets. We can't make bins because we don't have logs. And, uh-oh. Boozehound canceled fell tree because he got unconscious. Boozehound might be, have been knocked out by the tree chopping. That's a new thing. I, I don't recall dwarves being hurt by chopping down a tree, but that might have happened there. Um... Okay, we completed these work orders. Hey, look at that. Um, Zaist has created a masterpiece claystone mug. That's pretty fantastic. Um, all right, the dog and the jaguar were fighting. You don't like to see that. Okay, let me go down. All right, let's unpause it. And is anybody hurt? Um, can I see? Nobody's dead. Let's see, is there a way to, like, check people's health? I mean, I'm looking at my creatures. Nothing... I don't see anything about that. Um... Okay. You can see our dining hall getting set up, and it looks great. We're going to need a bigger um, 
stockpile for what is this furniture yeah we're gonna need a bigger furniture stockpile to be sure i'm gonna go ahead and actually also um create another um carpenter workshop just in case i feel like i don't have enough right now make it out of clay stone and then uh, that's good unpause We could make a smith because we actually have an anvil uh, if we wanted to start equipping our guys, but I don't think that's necessary at the moment. I also need some general stockpiles, so I'm just going to um, make another, like, you know, catch-all stockpile down here, and this is going to be a food stockpile. Um, so, oh, these are actually two, the same stockpile. I did not mean to do that. Um... Let me uh, erase this stockpile. No, that's not how you do that. Um, oh, here we go. Uh, remove it permanently. There we go. Let's try this again. So this is going to be one independent stockpile. And this is going to be anything goes. Okay. And then we're going to make another independent stockpile right here. Uh, that is is going to be only food. Okay. And I'll unpause it. Okay. So we're getting a lot of lumber. This is great. Now, you can see that we have... Um, do you need some sort of infirmary? Yes. Um, usually, though, exception not, um, the dwarves will just go to their own bed and lay down. But it's been a while since I've had a, an injured dwarf uh, to contend with. All right, so what we're going to do now is check this out. And all right, how is everybody doing now? mugs happening and let me see where the mugs are going are they in here mugs um now can i look in the bin this is an exceptional avocado wood bin well of course it is right um but it might be empty for all i know and I don't know where the, the mugs are going. Are they in the workshop? Yeah, there's some claystone mugs, I think, just uh, sitting here. All right. Um, okay. So what I want to do is just mess around. And this guy has come up here. Um, that's actually Dr. Incompetent. What's he doing? He's going to make a bin. So... I'm going to have fun and uh, do something. Can't remember if it was Tony that mentioned this, but I, I do like to do stuff like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Um, we need to make some steps, okay? And... Uh, here we go. So we're going to make um, a stairwell, okay? And it's going to be here... And then we're going to go down. And it's just going to be right here. And then we're going to go down again. Oh. Oh, boy. I did not mean to do that. Um, here, can I make this even more? Oh, you know what I did? Um, I have, That's right. Let me erase this um, for now. No, no, no. I need to do... Um, we go here, but... I dig it here, and then they go down one, and then two, like that. And then that should work. Um, all right? And then that way, I'm going to put a uh, stockpile beneath this. Is this grass growing right here? That's odd. Do we have a hole in our fort? I hope not. Open space. Yeah, look at this. So, there's an open space here, 
and here. This is interesting. These are all open spaces. I don't recall this happening in previous Dwarf Fortresses, but like the ground has opened up. Like I'm just digging my ha my home down here, but um, it opened up the first layer of ground and I don't want that at all. Um, so I'm gonna have to like patch all of this up or something because I don't want um, grass to be growing in my fort like this. I don't want the sunlight in here. My God, man, we're dwarves. Uh, interesting. Huh. Yeah, they are skylights, but... Bad guys could just get, um, come and, you know, take advantage of that. So, it did say that something upstairs has... Um, A blue peach hen. Okay, great. That things were collapsing? Maybe what they meant that's collapsing is the ground in some way. After we dig it out. Maybe I should, in the future, in this Dwarf Fortress version, maybe I should be digging deeper to make my settlement than the first floor. Because... Um, well, good to know. What we'll do is we'll just abandon this first floor at some point, but... Um, okay. So now they're using these stockpiles that we set up. Things are actually coming on down, which is good. And have we made any beds yet? We've made cabinets. That's fantastic. And let's see. Um... I'm going to make another... We need more space for furniture, that's to be sure. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and build. Um, and we can build some furniture that we've made. And... Uh, we can build a chest. So the dwarves like to have a little chest. Build a coffer here. Give it a coffer here. So I'm giving a cabinet and a chest. Maybe a chair, something like that. Just give them a little bit of decoration in their room, okay? And then, what else can I build, Jeff? Uh, well, we need to build doors, that's cool. Put a door here. Yep. Door over here. Door here. These are all going to be bedrooms at some point. So, let's do this. And paradise nut door, heck yeah. Who doesn't want to have a door made out of paradise nut wood. That's sweet. Alright, and then let's see what else we can build. Uh, do we... Did we build any... Yeah, here you go. Attraction bench. Um, so, uh, exception on... You can build a traction bench uh, for, you know, fractures or something like that if you get really injured. So, apparently, yes, indeed. Uh, let's build some more cabinets because we have them like that and we can build one more like that all right great did we build the beds yet we need some oh fantastic putting the beds at the top of the list really helped out all right okay so let's get some beds in here so that all of the dwarves that are, you know, present have a bedroom. We have 10 population, and this is 10 beds right here, and then they'll have, we'll have uh, some extra beds too. Uh, looks like we're out of doors as well. No, we have one door left. Great. Okay. That's tremendous. All right, what's everybody up to now? No job, no job. Yeah, right. Um, now they're doing this. Okay, so brewing a drink, making a coffer, constructing a building, making a bed. Very good. And let me go down and go down. Did you finish that staircase yet? No, they did not. They need to do it. Um, okay. 
Now let's add some orders. What we want to do is get some more uh, workshops going for sure. And I'm going to start making this place nice, but maybe not. Um, let me see what I can do about these like open spaces. I wonder if when the trees fell down or something, like this is where a tree trunk was and it creates an open space. That might have been an addition to just regular dwarf fortress that I am not accustomed to. So then in this kind of a case... Um, No. No. Um, what about build construction? Yeah, here we go. I wonder if I can just build a floor. Right? So I'm just going to try to build a floor that's like over top of any of these open spaces. And see how this goes. All right, so, you know, if it's an open space, we're just going to build a floor. <laughs> I can't tell what is open space and what isn't, but I do know... Um, okay, it looks like this, I suppose. So let me build another floor, but it goes construction, floor, and put something here... Pomelo is fine. Uh, do we have any other open spaces? Let's look. All right, hopefully that'll start... Pat oh, this is an open space too, this little barrel. You can see down into my base. So we're going to go ahead and build another construction. We'll just build a nice floor right here. Now, um, it might not look like much to, you know, put like a stone floor or whatever right here, but... We're going to build um, a fortification around our base anyway at some point. Hey, hey, Albert. Good evening, my friend. Thank you so much for becoming a member. I appreciate that. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're enjoying Potion Craft, Albert. I can't wait to play that again. All right, now check this out. You see this design right here. These are floors that they have built. They already built it. See? And then... um. We're going to build, like, a, a castle wall, kind of, um, in a square around our base. If we build, like, a nice big wall that goes um, just a square wall like this, we can encase these lakes as well for, like, water and fishing sources, um, which is pretty useful for us, I think. So maybe we should actually, um, oh no, I don't want to do squads right now. Um, squads are great, but we don't really have a, an army to deal with, so let's not. Let me zoom in even more, and let's unpause it. All right. And let me check my work orders. How are we doing? All right, we're making bins. That's fine. This is good. Um, <laughs> we're chipping away at the rock mugs. Uh, the cabinets are almost done. Doors are doing well. They made all the beds that we asked for. That's right. And let me go to... Let me go down. Now, actually, can I go work order? And I want to see about chair. Yeah. Let's make some chairs. So I'm going to make, like, um, you know... Uh, no, we need, like, 30 chairs. Oh, that's awesome, Albert. Yeah, Stardew Valley is so fantastic. I played that a ton. We played that over the course of, like, a year. And uh, we made it really far into that game. Love Stardew. All right. Look, our dining hall is finishing up. Okay. So what this means is we can really start to decorate. So um, I like to do this because I want my people to have, like, the fanciest place possible. And so what that means is we're going to um, click on wall smoothing, okay? And we're going to just smooth out this entire room, like 
this, okay? So they're going to smooth out the, the floor and the wall of the dining room. Now, the dining room is really important to have be nice because if they want to throw a party, they'll throw it in their the common area um, that is like their designation, and this will be it. So they'll throw like birthday parties and stuff in this room, and it'll make them happy. So like the dwarves' mood is affected by what they see, what they do, and um, what they experience. And like if they see a beautiful bed or they sit in a really nice chair that'll just make their day and so our job is to just give them a fantastic day and smoothing these walls out um, is part of that and you can see how the graphic changes for when it gets smooth so that's tremendous all right so now um we're hopefully starting to make chairs and here's our food uh we have a lot of drink we have a little bit of seeds but our food situation isn't ideal. I, you know, I wish it was a little bit better, honestly. So I'm going to have to figure out, like, what are we going to do about eating until we can get some plump helmets? That's a good question. Now, let me go down to this level and see what's happening um, in this stockpile. Um, I could never figure out where they... Uh, I'll just do finished goods, I guess. And see if they'll put the mugs in there. I don't know where my mugs are going. Oh, 100%, Tony. So, what Tony is talking about is the next step. So, once you smooth it, then you engrave it. And you put, like, artwork everywhere. And it just blows people's mind. You have to smooth it first. Now, we're going to first build... um door okay do i have any doors yeah we need to build a door on the cafeteria because um if food spoils it creates like miasma and stuff like that and so you don't want miasma to to move from you know too many rooms so you try to limit that by putting doors on any room um where food is That's a great question, um, Alex. No, the hilarious thing is Dwarf Therapist was for you personally as the player. All Dwarf Therapist did was manage the labor in an easy-to-use way so that you didn't have a headache from trying to get your dwarves to do things. Um, that's, that's why it was so funny, but um, this game makes it much easier to give them jobs. It is awesome, isn't it, Alex? Um, all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to build um, furniture. Let's build some chairs in here, and we're going to start putting in um, chairs so that people can sit in this room. Now, you don't need to worry about, like, in, if you're used to RimWorld or something, you don't need to worry about um, lighting or temperature, really. The dwarves, like, you know, Tolkien dwarves, they can see in dark. They have low light vision. And they're really hardy, so the temperature underground is just suitable for them. All right, look. Look, what's everybody doing? Yes. They're all eating. And look at this. This is so great. Exactly, Alex. As soon as I built this cafeteria, look at this. Everybody is coming to eat. And they're all immediately coming to sit down and eat right here. Everybody's job, Dark Tooth Beard Slayer that we just put in here. Look, right here, eating. Necronth, eating. Doctor Incompetent, eating. Grizzlebeard, chilling, right? And they know immediately, like, what is the room for them to do that in. It's so good. It's just so much fun. Like, I've spent so many hours in this game just watching them go about their business, you know? And it's terrific. All right. Um, so we're finishing this room. Let me go up. Okay. Now I'm going to assign like a really, really big job. Which is to wall this in. All right. We're going to go here. And no, I'm sorry. Wrong thing. We're going to go build. 
and we're going to go construction and we need to build um, a wall okay and we're going to just build a wall that goes all the way around now that being said you have to leave a big entryway um that's right and um yeah i guess rimworld did add that now exception on which is the you know progeny but this game lets you have um babies which helps expand your fort as well